welcome back to Baltimore Bombers Lacrosse here with Maryland Sports Insider, powered by Live 365. Listen to all of the home games here with us for the Baltimore Bombers, plus our weekly talk show, Inside the Hangar with the Baltimore Bombers, every Thursday night coming to you live from the Portside Tavern in Canton. Come on down, check it out. You can hear the show throughout the bar. Plus, on top of that, your favorite Bombers players come down and hang out with us as well. So you can come down and meet them, hear the show, and all that. Bombers with possession right off the bat. Shot by Rubiar is going to be saved by Talbot. And that was a nice cross across the middle. Talbot ready for that. Moreau with a follow-up shot, saved made by Talbot. Great kayak check, but able to hang on to the ball. The Rockhoppers, turnover, picked off. Here comes Rackman. He's going to push the ball up the floor. Wasik now with possession. Andrew Wasik has now scored in every single Bombers game. Him and Devin Spoker can say they've scored in every single Bombers game so far this season. So that's another trivia question that we've now created for Ex Exactly. We're, books. we're just really getting them. Wasik with two goals so far here on this early game. Ruby Orr. He's going to drive to the net. Diving shot. They're going to wave it off, saying he was inside the crease. Game tied at four here as, we begin our, as we're in the beginning of our second quarter of action here at DuBurns Arena. Boston Rockhoppers coming in, trying to avenge the one-goal overtime loss from two weeks ago. And as we started, we are currently at tied up again. We're all tied up again. That's right. Possession with Hodling. Hodling. He's going to try to drive the lane. Ball being worked around nicely. Davis, great job on the defense. Jenny with a sliding stop. And Duckelbaum, he's going to push the ball. He's got a wide open angle. He's going to drive. One fake moves to the inside. Underhand pass. Unable to come up with it. That's going to go over and back. No, it's going to get picked up by the by Ethan Vetter of the Rockhoppers. Vetter with some nice speed there, Brian, to pick up that loose ball. Bouncing off the boards. Hodling. Cross field pass. Hodling's going to get the ball back. Deckelbaum is going to guard him. Hodling inside pass shot. Save made by Jenny. Great save by Jenny as that was a great pick and move play uh, set up by Boston. Bose with a great job. Boston with possession. Deckelbaum, nice job on defense for the Bombers so far today. Hodling. She's, yeah, holding with possession. Underhand shot by Whoa, and Deckel Bomb is going at it. And it's Ryan Hodling and Deckel Bomb going at it after the cheap shot by and now we have more pushing and shoving on the floor. Hodling took the stick and, and shoved it into Deckel Bomb's face. So Hodling's going. Mr. Rabbit's waiting for a bombers player. And it's going to be Sean Madeline. Really? I would have thought it would... Yeah, well, they, they were both right there next to each other. So Madeline going to the box as well. As Hodling. And that was Jake, Jake Beebe with a good shot there right, uh, right there at the end of that possession. Rackman, Kachi, Davis... And you've got to say, for an early start to a league, so these teams have no love. You know what, Brian, Brian? Look, there's only three guys on the floor for Baltimore, so there's there's, there's, there's going to be there's John Allen and there must um, be two guys Deckel in the Bomb. box. That must mean Deckelbaum and now, unless there was an ejection for the punch. Oh no, here we go. We settled it up now. Okay. Now, now we even it up. It's going to be four. It's going to be four on four action here. Short came on the floor, so he's that fourth defenseman here for the Bombers. Man up situation here. Rock Hoppers with possession. Extra man opportunity here. There's a shot. Jenny swallows it up. And that was BB again with a great shot from the outside. Short with possession. He's going to try to clear. Stone really riding him hard the whole way up. Four or five really strong Wrap uh, stick checks, and he gets it over to Wasik. And Short's going to run off the field. Wasik up by the midfield line. He's going to spin. He's got some room. 
Great recovery speed nice by spin. Hayes. Got up in the middle. Underhand shot. And Wasik with his third. He's got a hat trick before the half. Brian, that is textbook screen play right there. Talbot had no idea the shot even went off. A double screen. And now wait a minute. Now it says five to four, but now there's some conversation going on. And I don't know what's going on. We may have a penalty here. I think they, no, they're gonna call the goal. There was, it looks like they were calling offsides against Boston, so that's going to get waved off. And the goal will stand. And that was a great move, like you said, that was textbook right there. Was, there were two guys, Brian, setting up that screen in front of Talbot. Two bo bombers, excuse me, plus a defender. So he was basically trying to look through three guys, and it was an underhand, like, roll shot. I still don't know how it found the net. <laughs> I it trickled. I think Talbot's trying to figure out the same thing right now, Jared. So that makes it 5-4 to four here at 11.55 into the second quarter of action. So great play so far in this game. We had a... I mean, this is box across at its best here at DuBurns Arena. We've, we've seen a lot of aggressive play. The chippiness that you've seen out of a team where I think we're establishing a rivalry with, with early on here in this NALL. Overtime win by Baltimore two weeks ago. Cannon's double teamed. He's going to try to get out of it. Throws it. Cross field to Rubio. That's Rubio, a great catch off the board. Sunday pass shot. Scores! No, it's goal. waved off. Waved off. No goal. That would have been Spoker's second goal of the game. And it's waved off. Quick play going the other way. Jitty's taken out in front of the net. And Rackman comes in quickly and to let them know that that is not okay. And Jenny's slow to get up, but as you know, those pads are kind of hard to maneuver in, Jay. It's and he has all those pads. That was right? Kirkaldi, and now I think Kirkaldi's being sent to the box, Brian. Uh, we might set a record breaking day of penalty minutes in the end now team. This now, may be more penalty minutes than what we saw on the wings. Well, that was, uh, that was 108 per side. So that was 216 total penalty minutes, Brian, in that game. But you are right. We are starting to get up there. So Kirkaldi going to the box. Two minutes for interference on the dive um, into the box. So two minutes interference against Kirkaldi. Baltimore will have the advantage now. Uh, we were the same out, um, man, both two men out. Uh, I mean, sorry, one man out for each team. Now it's two men versus one. No, it's all even. We're four and four. Four and four. We're four and four. The fourth, only 34 seconds, and then we'll be man up. Ah, uh, that's right. So, yeah, we have to. They have to get. I forgot that we, we have to get, get that other off. penalty off the board. So it's four and four action here. So this is about as wide open as you get for box lacrosse. Wasik with possession. He's going to drive shot. Save made by Talbot. Follow up shot. Score! Joy, joy, boy, yep. follow up game. So. Jeff Joy getting his first goal for the Bombers. And that was, that was man down, Jared. That was, a, that was a man down goal. So great play there by Joy. And he gets on the board for the Bombers. He's going to make it 6-4. to 10.56 left to play. Here on our second quarter of action from DuBurns Arena. Looks like it's going to be... Well, I think they're still trying to situate the penalties the here. coming out? No. So holding, nope, it, it looks like they're both staying in there. Or nope. Yep, they're yep, both they're staying, staying, in. Both yep. staying in, in the in the penalty box there. It's still four on four for another sixteen seconds left on the Sinowitz penalty. Possession. Somebody needs to get back because that yeah. I, I don't think I didn't think Baltimore was convinced that it was going to be Boston possession, but it was Palasek gets it up to Stone. Stone gets the pick. Great recovery by Rasmus. Has no stick at this point. Shot goes off the backboards. Penalty is cleared off. So now ba uh, Baltimore will have the extra man. Sinowitz trying to get possession. And now all the arguing going on is actually slowing down the game. And Hodling's going back into the box, it looks His like. His penalty was not cleared off the books. So now it will be Baltimore possession right at midfield. 
Wasik will take the ball. Wasik, Sinowitz on the floor with Rubior. Have the power play at this point, Baltimore. 10.32 left to go here in the first half. We're waiting for the whistle from the referee staff to get this. Here we go. Now we're going to get things started. Wasik throws into Rubio. Rubio gets it back, looks to shoot, throws it back up top to Wasik. Wasik throws it to the far side. Bombers, man up. Possession here. Rubio down inside. Bounce pass. Jeff Joy looks... Cannot quite come up with it, and Wasik able to recover. Not much time left on the shot clock. Wasik's going to drive. Throws a shot on save made by Talbot. Ball bounces in the air. Great man ball situation there, Brian, by the Bombers. However, and they've got numbers. One here, on one. It's one on one possession. Fake shot. Nice shot made by, by Jenny. Shuts down Lance Carter on the drive. Carter with possession. Good drive again. Jenny with another save. Deckelbaum plays it right off the pad. The chest protector. Deckelbaum's going to bring the ball up for. The bomber, Sinowitz, and a whistle. That's going to be Rock Copper's possession. Odling and Madeline. I'm not. He gave the over and back signal, and I'm not sure how that happened. It must have been a backwards pass. 17 seconds left to kill the remaining penalty on Hayes. Right now in the box. Hey, I thought it was Kirk. Was in the box. Kirkaldi. Or, or but Pedley. got 14 up there. Yeah. They, they don't have the right number up there. Stone on the floor. We've got to keep an eye on him. Ball far side of Rackman. He's going to try to dish it out. Kick saved by Jenny. She's going to swallow it up. Dish to Kachi. Kachi's got room to run. Wasik takes over possession. He's going to clear it out for... The Bombers, nine minutes to go. Six to four is our score here at DuBurns Arena. Home of the Baltimore Bombers. Six to four is our score. 8.50 left to go here in the half. Whistle, change of possession. Rock Hoppers now with the ball. Rock Hoppers going to bring the ball across. Down two goals. Everything is all even at this point. All penalties are cleared off the board. Holdling's going to drive in. Tries to get the shot off. Davis to Deckelbaum. Deckelbaum's got it wide open. Good good recovery there by Palasek. And Palasek strips it away from Deckelbaum. And now running in Bomber's defense, able to recover. Because that could have been dangerous, Brian. Palasek had, looked like he had room to run. But Madeline able to get on the floor. Vosberg, those two able to run on the floor quickly. Deckelbaum, Vosberg, Cannon, Madeline, and Davis are defensive set here for the Bombers. Empty net. Empty net possession here for... Nope. Um, Tal it was. Back now Tabitha's going to come back out. Capiccioni, Ginny is doing a great job in goal so far today. I, mean, I think she looks sharper than she did last week. And that's yeah. saying something because she was on fire last week. 6-4, 7.52 left to play. And she is getting a lot more help out of the defense this week too, Jay. That's very true. A lot more slides, being able to cover the guys and covering that middle of the field, which was, uh, was troublesome last week. And especially in the transition game, we weren't able to recover and make those uh, helping saves for Jenny. And Jenny right now is getting a little bit of help with that. And she's doing a great job. She's, she's made a lot of good one-on-one -on -one saves today. Well, we have a timeout on the floor. We're taking time to remind you to make sure that you mark your calendars for May 30th, 2013 to attend the Tawaratan Award Ceremony at the National Museum of the American Indian in Washington, D.C. The Tawaratan is the Cross's Heisman. It's annually recognizing the top male and female collegiate players in the country. The Tawaratan Foundation is a nonprofit that honors these top players and gives out scholarships to college-bound Native American lacrosse players. Also, this year's Tawaratan ceremony is honoring two 
Johns Hopkins University legends. Former coach and Hall of Famer Bob Scott is receiving this year's Spirit of Tueraton Award, and All-American Hall of Famer Joe Callen is being honored as a 2013 Tueraton Legend recipient. Reserve your tickets to the ceremony or make a donation at to the foundation at Tueraton.com. This event will sell out, so be sure you'll, there, you'll be there on May 30th for one of DC's best philanthropic award ceremonies. We have a penalty just put up on the board, Brian, for the Bombers. They're going to have Andrew Wasik in the box. I'm not really sure where that came from. I didn't see anything at the end of the, the play there, but two minutes are on the board, and Wasik's number is up there as well. And there's only four defenders that we got. Davis, Rockman, Kachi, and Madeline on the floor for the Bombers. As we restart action from that timeout, Rockhoppers with possession. They're going to work the ball around the horn here. Stone, bounce pass. Fake pass by Hodling. Far side, Kirkaldi. Underhand shot, bounces off Ginny's chest pad. Picked up by Boston, Marty Bowes. Looking to shoot, underhand shot, Bose right off the leg pad. Picked up now by Palasek. Palasek swings the ball around to Hodling. Hodling up top. Gets it across. Good look. Shot off the back wall. That's going to be over and back, looks like, Jay. Actually, oh. it stays in. It takes a weird hop off the glass and able to stay in, trying to pick up the ball. I believe that was Bose. Here comes Palasek's shot. Goes off the back wall. That's going to bounce off the wall into Rockhopper's territory. So that will be a possession for Baltimore right at midfield over by the penalty box area. Deckelbaum get possession. He gets double teamed. He's going to drive. He's getting pushed around, looking for somewhere to go. He's going to go around the back of the net. He's got two guys chasing him. Oh, he gets taken yeah. down. I like the prize on that. Finally, there's a whistle. I thought a delayed whistle there by Mr. Rabbit. We're going to have a holding call against the Rock Hoppers. We'll see who serves it. There were a few guys that were over there in that area. It looks like we've got to the box. We'll see when they put the number up on the board. So that's going to be against Ethan Vetter. Two minutes for holding. 38 seconds left on the mystery penalty uh, on Andrew Wasik. So we're going to have uh, four and four lacrosse here for a few moments. We'll be all with possession. He thought, thought about driving in. He's going to back it out. Swings it over for Cannon. Cannon. A lot of movement. Cannon quick on his feet, able to change directions quickly. Underhand shot goes off the back wall. Joy almost able to get the rebound. Cannon recovering nicely. There's a shot. Jimmy with a huge save. And that was Lance Carter who was able to get the quick pass and try to drive it. Unable to connect. They're going to get Ruby on the push from behind. That's one of those penalties, Brian, that you want to take because Lance Carter was wide open on the possession there. And that push was enough, I think, to have a miss on the shot. So the Bombers, uh, however, put themselves in a hole. They got three guys on the floor. Davis, Natalyn, and Kachi is the defensive unit. And two in the box with, with well, five seconds remaining on the Wasik penalty. So Wasik will be able to come on the floor in three seconds, two, one. That's going to be released. Ross is going to sprint across the floor for a defender to come in. Streaking in to the play is Rackman. So now it's f four on four again. Rockhoppers with the possession. Trying to drive. There's a bounce shot. Scores! And losing his helmet was, was holding on the shot. I believe Hodling will get credit with the goal. Bose with the assist, I believe. So Hodling's going to make it 6-5. to five. That's an even strength goal because it's 4-on-4. Four four.
528 left to play. Here in our second quarter of action, our score is 6-5. to five. Referee's going to the judges' table to make sure everything's set on the penalties. 58 seconds left to go on the Ethan Vetter penalty, but they have not put the Rubio penalty up on the board. So if they don't put it there up should there, be about, <laughs> there should be uh, probably about a minute and 20, I believe, or so left on that penalty. Maybe it's a freebie. Kachi, right? Davis, Madeline, Vosberg on the floor waiting to face off. Vosberg's done a great job today at the face off. Uh, he struggled the last two weeks, uh, especially the first game against Fallon, who is not here today, who I believe is playing for Team USA as well. But Velocic, one of those guys we've seen in the outdoor game, and he's been very, very good at the face-off X uh, the last several years. Well, you know, and that's the thing, too. You know, we, we wish everybody well in that Team USA game that uh, – was played earlier today. They had two games this weekend. Uh, the women also playing in the Champions Challenge as well down there. So um, congratulations to all everybody that participated in, in that event for the men's and women's team as well down there. As they get set for their different championships coming up within the next year or two years, depending on if it's men's or women's. 5.15 left in the second quarter of action. Rock Hoppers with possession here. 6-5 to five is our score. Hodling, swim move, he's going to try to drive. Unable to connect with Palasek. Good move there, Brian, as he went behind the net, passed over the shoulder of Capiccioni. Shot clock. I must say, thank God no, they met over here, Jay. Yeah, they, every time I see the ball, I think it's going to come out. Yeah. <laughs> Setting up, Hodling. Inside pass shot off the leg pad. Ginny with a save. And she even makes the follow-up shot with a, with Mike Stone down in her uh, at her feet. Ginny will reset the goal. Stone's arguing that he got pushed, but he drove in there on his own. Madeline's going to leave the floor. Vosberg will start with the ball in Bombers territory. He'll get it to Wasik, who will clear it out for the Bombers. Six seconds to go to kill the penalty of Vetter. 4.32 left to play here in the half. Turnover and Rock Hopper's possession. Vetter's going to run on. One-on-one, -on -one, Vetter scores. Vetter comes out of the box, had a one-on-one -on -one with Ginny. And he was able to squeak one by her. But, Brian, that ties it at six. That is an even strength goal. So, Vetter... Vetter's uh, penalty kind of ended at the right moment. It did. He was able to come on the floor. Oh, it looks like, like Ratchman's going to take the face off, Jay. <laughs> Davis, Kachi, and, and Madeline, the defenders out for the face off. We're going to have a procedure. We're going to have a held ball. It's going to be Bomber's possession. They're going to call that. They're going to say that uh, Black has had the clamp. They're going to hold, call it a held ball. Joy Wasik Cannon out on the floor. There's a shot. Save made. That was Sinowitz. Sinowitz the directly shot. at the chest of Talbot. Boston recovers. They're going to come back the other way. Drew. He's going to run off the floor. Hodling. One-on-one -on -one with Davis. Davis is going to get some help. Hodling still in possession. Cross-field cross pass. And Vosberg. great stick check by Colton Vosberg. Deckelbaum picks it up. Or excuse me, Cannon picks it up. He's going to drive. He's getting hacked the whole way down the field. He's got a trailer. Deckelbaum gets possession. Wasik's going to try to clear out some space for him. Wasik's getting a cross-field pass to Kenny. Kenny drives it over to Joy. Or excuse me, Malol. Oh, shot. They say inside the crease on Malol. And Talbot can't find the ball. <laughs> it actually, I think, went in the net. And now they reset the goal. Here comes Boston on the possession. Boston setting up their offense. 311 left to play. Palasek gets the ball over to Holding. Holding playing the left side. Now he's going to drive. 
He's going to back out. Davis trying to bait him into that move there. Rolling shot. Going to bounce off the boards. Picked up right at half field. But that's going to be a shot clock violation because that was not a shot on goal. 3.07 left to go here in the first half. We're all tied up at six here at the Burns Arena. In Cannes, the home of your Baltimore Bombers. Kenny, inside pass. Shot Shot scores! scores! And I believe that might have been Cannon. That's Spilker. Spilker. Spilker from Kenny. So Jordan Kenny with a great pass gets it over Devin Spilker for Spilker's second goal of the game. 2.53 was the time of goal. Kenny to Spilker. And that's going to make it 7-6. to six. Here with 2.53 left to play in our s- second quarter of action. Vosberg back off, up the face off. Falakis getting the ball. He's going to try to drive. Shot, goes off the leg pad and into the net. That's going to be Baltimore possession. Cannon's going to pick it up. He's going to be defended immediately. Vosberg hitting the back by Hayes. He's going to spin off it. Vosberg's going to drive down. Gets over to Sinowitz. Sinowitz waiting for the rest of the offense to come on the floor. He's going to get up to Wasik. Wasik, great switch move. In that underhand shot, goes off the back wall. Bombers looking to try to take advantage as Vetter had a jump on the Bombers, but Rockhopper's not able to get possession enough to get it out to him. Short, Rackman. On the floor. Driving shot. Sh- shoulder save made by Jenny. Short gets the loose ball. He's going to throw it up to Jordan Kenny. who cannot handle this. the pass. It was a little high. Now Kenny he recovers. Does. Shot deflected. Rockhopper's and possession. Like Kenny has a, and Kenny's down. Holding his knee, Jay. That is not. That is bad news for Baltimore. They're going to be a man short on this possession. And now we get the injury whistle. We have an injury timeout. With 144, our score is seven to six. Kenny does n- is thriving in pain. I, he's rolling around that and he is that he's right holding knee. that right knee. And Brian, I mean, he is he is an athletic guy, but I think he may have made a that move was a bit quick to the center of the goal mouth. May have come down awkwardly on it. Jimmy's going to get a nice breather here, as well as Adam Miller comes out. They're going to probably talk a, talk some game strategy. These two talk frequently during breaks, whenever there's timeouts, and I'm sure giving each other advice on what they're seeing from different ends of the floor. You know, Jenny's seeing it full on, Miller's seeing it from the sideline, the different things that they're doing. Kenny's still down the floor being seen by the medical staff. We'll take this uh, injury timeout as an opportunity to remind you of our Thursday night indoor lacrosse night doubleheader. Starting for at 7 o'clock, we have the Wings Flight Zone Show, followed by our 8 o'clock show inside the hangar with the Baltimore Bombers. Those shows coming to you live from Portside Tavern in Canton. Inside the hangar is actually broadcasted throughout the, the bar as well, so come on down to Portside Tavern for $2 beers, 50 cent wings. You can actually meet some of the players as well. Check us out. And Kenny is limping. He's having a problem putting weight on that right knee, Jay getting help from one of his teammates to walk off the floor so I'm sure we will not see him the rest of the game so the Bombers are going to go probably one short on the bench the rest of the game we'll see what is able to happen he'll probably head straight back to the locker room with the medical staff with only 144 left in our and, and get uh, started on halftime early so that means we're probably going to see a little bit more Jeff Joy out on the floor, probably to help out on in the forward position. Rockhoppers with possession. They have the ball in the injury time that was called. They'll get possession back. There's a shot put on Mike Stone right. with the rocket shot. Now Stone's one guy we've been able to keep in check a little bit so far in this first half. He was dangerous in that first game. Palasek with the ball. Gets the switch, Stone, trying to fight for possession behind the net. Good defense, Stone, drive, shot, scores, oh, Mike Stone. Stone. All right, I'm going to stop mentioning names at this point because I've now jinxed them twice. 
on goals, but that stone, that the goal from Mike Stone ties it at seven with 110 left to play here in our second quarter of action. During halftime, we'll take a short break, but then we'll come back with our halftime show right before the start of the third quarter. So make sure you stay tuned in to NSI Radio, Baltimore Bombers across. Davis battling for possession. Rock Hopper's coming.